Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys? It's just Sassy Assassin here, back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. It is currently March 17th, 2024. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a Foodie Beauty, aka Everyday Miri Ham related videos. The first one is titled, Unboxing My 100,000K Silver Play Button from YouTube. And the second one is a highlighted version of her addressing some lies live stream. So, without further ado, folks, let's get to. So, I want, I just want to address this before go, get going into this video. It is. I, I'm not, like, very knowledgeable when it comes to, like, the YouTube plaques and stuff like that, because I am nowhere near, like, the sub, like, I know we're, I have no, like, we are near the, the sub count needed for a YouTube plaque. And I don't know if I'll ever meet, like, the 1000k subs. But that being said... Uh, it is been, like based on what's been being said in the community, it is very likely that Sean like that this is a fake lack, because um, there are certain nuances in this video that prove that may prove that this is a fake plaque. The fact that Chantel has received it so soon. When usually it takes quite a while for somebody to receive their YouTube plaque is another factor. And also, apparently you can actually buy like a replica replica of a of, of a YouTube plaque. And like it like literally looks like the genuine thing aside from like a few nuances. Um, FFG has actually bought a, a YouTube plaque. Not you know, um, just for to prove a point, and I'm eager to see like what that one looks like. But that being said, I really think that Chantel just bought the black, and because she wants to prove a point to the, to us haters that and reaction channels that you know sh this is her cementing her legacy. This. When in all actuality, Chantel, it means nothing. You have bought and did follow for follow for views and subs. And now you purchased a plaque to try to impress, you know, shove it in our faces and be like here you know i'm i'm verified like you can't get rid of me I, you know i have a plaque now it means nothing chantel if you didn't earn it okay the reality is is that your channel is on a tightrope you know not really a tightrope but it's on broken glass 
a sinking ship, you know, whatever metaphor you want to use. You buying su views and subs is only prolonging the sinking of the ship. But eventually, the ship is going to sink, whether you like it or not. Because as time goes on, and as you continue to be the way you are, and, and behave the way you do to towards your subscribers, more people are going to leave and because they don't want to put up with the bullshit. And they don't have to put up with the bullshit. So this plaque of yours, it doesn't mean a damn thing. You didn't earn it. This is a fake plaque. Just The only thing this is doing is just making you look even more stupid than you already are. But anyways, let's uh, get into this video. Okay, let's, let's go back for a minute. Here's the first, first nuance. Now, the real one has the same, the same words and everything. But the paper is is like a parchment paper, and as you can see, this is regular paper. So that's 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 clue number one. Do you remember your first subscriber? You're a hundred, or you're one. Clue number two. This is also the real thing is also done in parchment paper, but as you can see, it's done on just some regular paper. Whoever created this, I mean, did a damn good job, but, like, you didn't use the right kind of paper. 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do, and we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed, and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations! We know that you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber we may just write to you and ask do you remember your 100,000th subscriber you're sincerely neil mohan youtube ceo everyday miriam mm, i don't know i mean see i've seen ambers okay and Huh, I, I gotta see out of the plastic. See, I've seen Amber's, okay? And I've seen other people's. I just, I don't know. It, it doesn't, it looks almost the same, but more, like more like cheaply made, I guess. No shade to the person who actually made this, but I, I, I just, this is not the real deal. I think she found a place that makes replica, replica plaques, had it made, had it shipped to Canada, and then, um, then her mom shipped it to Kuwait. I don't know what you think you're proving by buying a plaque, Chantel. You could still get your real plaque. Why Why it's the urgency? Is it because you're afraid that you're going to lose those subs? Oh, wait, wait, wait. See, here's the thing. You bought those subs. The follow for follow. Are you afraid... Pray that you're gonna lose more, cause maybe YouTube will catch on that you're doing. You know, you you bought the subs, and those are bots, and that they're gonna take away those subs. I mean, she could also have created a bunch of accounts and just like sock accounts and just like sub to herself. I don't know how many times you can do that, but like. You know, I, I I wouldn't put her, but put it past her to to go, 
expected to do any of those things. It's pathetic, Chantel, because the reality is your channel is a, sh a sinking ship. A literal sinking ship. And this plaque of yours, this fake plaque, isn't gonna I mean, it doesn't mean a damn thing. <laughs> you wasted your money, girl. But this is your legacy, right? This is this proves that you made it. Like you're a YouTuber. This is pathetic. I'm sorry, like this is not me like speaking out of jealousy or anything like that. The, it's just it doesn't mean anything in my opinion if you don't earn it. And it's worse because she bought a replica instead of actually like buy getting waiting for the real thing to come. Like, damn girl, damn. Hey guys, now I may not remember my first subscriber, but I do remember all of you when I see you leave comments or chats in my live streams. It also does feel like yesterday that I started my channel by doing Ipsy hauls back in 2017. I would lay on my bed and talk excitedly with my Graham Spare about my videos and how I was excited that I made 50 bucks. <laughs> I said, imagine Grams, I could make this my job. She didn't believe it at the time and now she's gone and all I wish is that she could see my achievement today. Now, my journey on YouTube has been hard. It's been fun, but hard a lot of times. It's not easy being a social media public figure, especially a controversial one. I look back and think sometimes I really should have tried harder to make better content. But you know what? Then I think I'm right where I need to be, honestly. I trust in God's plan and I don't- You're not even trying now. Your content has gotten worse. You never tried, Chantel. Like, what are you talking about? I don't regret sharing my- Why are you acting like your be your content is better? ...life with you all, after all. I know my stories have helped many laugh and feel less lonely, and I appreciate you all. And I apologize if- Sorry about that. ...right where I need to be, honestly. I trust in God's plan, and I don't regret sharing my life with you all, oh, after all. of course you gotta I know my stories God have helped into it. You mean Allah's plan? I hate that she's bringing religion to her channel. Because she's the most unreligious person that I've ever encountered. But it's a, sort of befitting, you know? In a way. Because there are plenty of people that have used... in. in and on this planet that have used religion to cover up their their devious nature. Many laugh and feel less lonely. She's just another person doing so. And I appreciate you all. And I apologize if my words or actions have hurt anyone. And I want to continue to share my journey with you. I truly couldn't have reached this milestone without you guys. Oh, I'm sure you're sorry. And what milestone? You faked your way to it. You didn't earn this shit, Chantel. You bought your way to a, a, a thousand K subs. Now you are probably wondering, and many of you are disappointed, especially those who have followed me since the beginning about this, but you're probably wondering why I changed my channel name. Well, when I look back at my foodie beauty life and content, I truly don't feel like that same messy person. I feel like someone else. I you're feel still that person. like all that I have been through has allowed me to you know, find God, and I wanted to rebrand to reflect this. Oh, now, God. I'm not totally a new person. We are who we are, and... Find God. Did you really find God, Chantel? Really? Because, so far, you have raged for two days straight. During Ramadan, a time of deep reflection and getting closer to God. I still am a man. Is it because you're you're hangry, Chantel? You're hangry. You, you know you want to fast to impress Salah, but you really just want to eat. Yes, but let's be honest. I probably always will be. But I have a new outlook on life, and even though it's not always apparent um, for those looking from the outside in, I really do. And I hope I can continue to make changes for the better, or 
keep trying at the ones that I have not yet been successful at changing. Now, even if this channel name isn't permanent, don't get me wrong, I hope it is, but even if it isn't, and I changed it down the line, it would be fitting, considering my personality, to have a plaque with a different name than- Because of course, because if, if, uh, this whole Kuwait arc doesn't work out, which, come on, let's be real, it's not going to, she's gonna go home and rip off the hijab and- and become foodie beauty again. My channel. Who knows? If I ever reach one million, maybe that plaque will say something else. Also, really, who you're knows? You're not gonna reach In any one case, million. I just want. I can tell you that right now. You're never gonna unless unless you buy your way to a million, which you can. Um, the place that I looked into, you know, for research purposes, um, you could buy a million subs, but it costs a couple grand to buy it. Can you imagine though, somebody would actually do that? Spend a a couple of grand just to buy themselves a million subs. Like, it wouldn't be completely obvious to YouTube that you bought your way to a million subs. I wanted to thank you all for getting me here. Love me or hate me, you got me here today, and that's all that matters. And I just wanted to show some gratitude. I don't know where this journey will take me, but I hope you will all still be here to witness some of it. Thanks again, 100k, woo! That was ridiculous. All right, let's move on to the actual the the live stream now. Um, so I wanted to do this. It's like nine in the morning here, so I wanted to do this. Um, Ooh, that's a little too, too sped up for me. Try this at one fifty-five in the evening, but I'm going to be busy this evening, so um, I probably won't have any content again until tomorrow. But <laughs> Okay, farts and charts. Did I rage? No, and you're here. So, anyways, I was listening to um, your mom's stream while doing dishes, and he was talking about me, and it's complete BS. So I want to like clarify and prove some things. So, I want to um, do a bit of reaction to this stream. I was going to talk about this today. So just to preface, oh, um, I was listening to another stream. Well, I like to listen to streams when I do chores, and you know, I have to like get out of that habit of listening to these negative things because they really just do no. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you guys do that. Listen to streams while you're doing mundane things. It's background noise. I probably should be listening to something more positive. She probably hasn't even gone to sleep yet. She literally, she's probably still, she's probably been raging all night. Uh, it's whatever. Making fun of an elderly person versus your prostitute adult daughter is not the same vile witch. Her old habits are hard to break sometimes, okay? So anyway, um, and they hit a new low when they were making fun of Gaining Ground's mother with dementia. So she was saying things on her stream like, he was calling her and him a pickle brain, how it's disgusting, like that she, you know, soils herself and he has to clean it. She was just really going very low. Number one, Samantha herself is the one who's bragged about her kids working in a brothel. Okay, she's the one who brought that tea on the internet. Nobody else has talked about her kids or brought up her kids more than Samantha herself. All right, yo mama? So when you're accusing me of going low and bringing up her kids, get it right. Number two, her kids are not kids, they're adults. So if you reach a certain point of maturity and you are and you were brought up on the internet, yeah, we have a right to discuss that, okay? It's not like her kids are little toddlers walking around, all right? These are adult children that she brought up herself, all right? So get that right as well before you come for me and call me disgusting and going low. All right, so let's get to this. So I left a comment in Original Owl's channel. Um, yeah, so basically when I said prostitute daughter, I wasn't shaming her daughter for being a prostitute. That's not what I was doing. I was saying that because Sam was comparing, she, she was excusing her behavior towards making fun of a woman with dementia and soiling herself because Gigi was mentioning that her children were prostitutes. So I was saying it's not the same. Making fun of an elderly person versus your prostitute adult daughters is not the same, exactly. No, I, you know what, maybe I shouldn't um, be so reactive and I'm working on that, but it's hard sometimes. And you know what, I was defending Gaining Ground because he's always been a light, he reacted to me in the past. My problem is not reacting to me. Like he was always lighthearted about it and he's always been nice to me and he doesn't deserve that kind of um, mental abuse. And it's a pattern of behavior for these two, Gabba and Sam. And I was really just like fed up with it. And what I heard, it was disgusting. Susan, her children are not children, Susan. And yes, they were on YouTube. She brought them on YouTube. She talked about them. Irregardless, irregardless, you don't talk about other people's kids. No matter what their age is, they're not on YouTube. They're they're living private lives. Okay, whatever they're doing. Okay. You know you just don't do it. All right. And I don't agree with people going after an elder an elderly person that's not on YouTube either. But see, I I I don't I don't know what Sam or Yaba said. 
So you guys want to come for me and say, we're allowed to come for your pets because you bring them on YouTube. Well, guess what, Susan? We're allowed to talk about what she talks about on YouTube as well. And she herself said that her adult, adult, they're not children, okay? Adult daughter worked in a brothel and she bragged about it. Adult, okay? Not children. What's your point? Foodie Beauty, when are you going to stop? Stop what? Defending myself? That's a real honest question. See, you're not helping. Helping what? You know, when everyone talks about making this space a better place, right? And then when people talk about how they pal on you and they talk shit about you, and then when people... They're never going to stop. That's when you don't get it. I'm allowed to have my opinion on something. What, why should I silence myself just because um, I'm a, like, what? I'm not afraid of them to talk about me. Keep going. I don't care. I'm and shy. then you turn around and talk about... Well, obviously you do care, Chantel, because here you are. You're, it's Ramadan, for fuck's sake. This is a time of reflection and getting closer to Allah, and here you are. If you really cared about the significance of the holiday, you wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, here you are. Somebody's child being a prostitute. And you think it's helping in some sort of way when it's utterly disgusting. You're the problem. You go around and you talk about... Listen. Oh yeah, I'm the problem because I pop up once in a chat, once or twice, and give my opinion on something and defend somebody and have a stance on something? Okay, but everyone else can talk. All. So, you're just... A, you're basically admitting that you watch Yaba and Sam. I thought you didn't watch Reaction Channel, Chantel day long in this community don't act like uh like including you oh, including God. you like what and you have brought up yep some i think it was yaba you have brought up their parenting i think it was no it was um breezy so don't don't even go there to point out a prostitute and this and that what does her kids got to do with her disgusting actions her kids because her adult it's not kids her adult daughter she was brought up online again by her own mother there were story times about this go look it up coming online disrespecting you or disrespecting what ginger or anybody reach. what a dumb reach to come for me for this anyway so the fact that you want to go into somebody's stream... I think she just looks for things periodically. See, I'm not a foodie beauty stan. I call her out on her BS. But what you call me out on is BS. It's so ridiculous. ...and talk about their kids being prostitutes. Why would you do that? Because she did. She, just in this stream, you didn't listen. In this stream, she was saying she was coming for Gigi because Gigi talked about her kids being prostitutes. So I was comparing that that's not the same as making fun of a helpless elderly person with dementia. Because, like, honestly, like, you totally took it way out well... of context, just like every other reaction channel. Why would you, why would you give them a reason to come back today? Because that's what you did. You gave Sam a reason to go. Just, just, uh, I see. I'm going to have to go back and go and listen to what was said because I have a hard time believing that that uh, Sam would come out and say, "Hey, my my daughter worked at a brothel." I don't know. See, given the fact that both of these people, you know, twist people's words and misconstrue things, I don't know. If now, if Sam did go out and say, "Yeah, my daughter's worked at a brothel," and she publicized that, I mean, that person technically is an adult, but it's still her child, and that person is not online, so I feel I feel like it's still inappropriate. Hey, see, see what I'm talking about? I, uh, yeah, I'm talking about a Durant. I'm talking about an elderly women that shitting on herself, that pickle brain. But look at what they're saying about my child. It's not a child. It's an adult. An adult being a prostitute is not the same. There's nothing more. You, one thing is about morals. The other thing is about an illness that they can't help. Don't you see the comparison? Like, and I'm not even coming for her for being a quote unquote prostitute. I don't give a, I don't care. But I'm saying it's not the same thing. And her kids are not children. They are a grown adults, which makes it fair game in my opinion, because she brought them on the internet. So we have a right to react to that. Isn't that so? And I don't care. They're always going to find something else to talk about. It doesn't matter. Now she has something to talk about. Whatever. This comment I made is nothing in comparison to what she said about Gigi's mother. So it's not the same whatsoever. Or if, why are you here then listening to it? If it's such a bother for you and it's, you know, you want to come in here and... She talks about her kids, but those kids are not, like, technically on the internet there to defend themselves. In my humble opinion, don't bring your kids to the internet and talk about them at all. Like, seriously. Virtue signal? Don't watch it. Right. You're giving them a reason to do what they're doing. No, 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 and no. Then no, you're no. going to blame me for them reacting that way and coming up with vile stuff? What? I don't think so. This has nothing to do with me. I'm allowed to leave a comment. How they react and how they act is on them, not me. They should Just because I leave a comment like this? No, they don't, it doesn't mean they give them a right to go back and be nasty again. No, that's on them. That's disgusting, talking about somebody's child being a prostitute. What? She talked about it herself. So go take your virtual signaling and you know what you can do with it. Ugh. You couldn't have just it's left so it weird. at... Sometimes you're like on game and I like... What he says is makes sense, but sometimes it's just so far out. Like, no. Making fun of an elderly person is bad. You couldn't leave it like that. You can't. Yeah, I can say what I want. Everyone else, you know? Anyway. Nothing like that. No one's opinion is wrong. Some things are facts, Henry. 
Sam is the one who came online and talked about her daughter working in a brothel. It's not kids. She's an adult. And if her mother brought her on the internet to talk about it, you know, and I was using it in the context of the whole situation that they were talking about. I wasn't saying, oh, your daughter's a disgusting prostitute or something like this. I wasn't making fun of her daughter. He took it way out of context, way out. But instead you had to go down the line and call her child a prostitute. What? <laughs> You're such a liar. You're, that's a bold faced lie. Like I just said, she did it. She talked about her daughters, not me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Disgusting. Disgusting. You're disgusting. You're a liar. Really know? We already know. You're the only one making a derogatory term about being a prostitute. I didn't say anything about it. Being a prostitute means you uh, have a job selling yourself for money. Like that's what you do. Okay. So whatever. Like that's whatever. I don't care what she does with her life. Whatever. I'm not shaming her for that. You're missing the entire point. He is full of crap. This is full of crap. I'm sorry. But like, um, I snapped when I heard that because like, I don't know. I guess I have a big mouth and I can't help it. And I guess I'm just gonna have to take the heat for it for the rest of my life. Oh, well, people are gonna talk about me no matter what. Whatever. Just it's Ramadan, Chantel, remember? Oh, but oh well, right? Your spiritual growth and your spiritual journey does it. I mean, you're already, you're already, what's the point of even taking part in of Ramadan when you're going to be doing this shit? Because she's doing this during, during the time of fasting, right? When she should be praying and, and reading the Quran. Like, seriously, what a fucking massive hypocrite. I don't know what, Sam, what's go what was said or anything like that. I don't know what's going on on that end. Oh, is it Shannon wilding now? This is about Shannon's daughter? Oh, this is, oh, okay. Or I think, or is it about Sam? Okay. It's like you said, they bring attention to my channel. That's how I'm looking at it from now on. Thank you for helping me reach my check mark and my plaque on the way. It showed major restraint against the reaction channels. They rip you apart. Oh, God. Well, at least she acknowledges it, right? That we're the ones that got her here. But, uh, honey, you still didn't get there with us because uh, you bought your way. You basically bought your way to the th 1,000K. And you bought a, f a fucking replica plaque so that check mark that all everything that you got means nothing because you didn't earn it you your mom is full it. of crap here exactly yeah yeah i know in his whole chat just oh yeah like looking for any reason to turn on me and be like oh yeah sure like yeah you're right Ugh. nobody thinks for themselves like that's one thing i will never do is like follow a sheep mentality and you know what if people hate me because i have an opinion but they can talk about me for three years and thousands of videos making up lies and once or twice or a few times i come out and i address it tough so then stay mad baby i don't care this th people just like they, they look for those buzzwords don't talk about nobody's kids don't talk about nobody's kids when listen nobody's talking about anyone's kids sometimes i talk about their parenting okay that doesn't mean you're attacking their children all right. Just like talking about the gun laws in the U.S. doesn't mean you're attacking, attacking the victims of the shooting. Just like when you talk about somebody's oh, daughter. Don't even get on about the whole pumped up kicks. Shut the fuck up, Chantel. You know what you did there. You know what you did. And Chantel, you go after the people's kids all when, whenever you have a chance that's that's your that's your low blow if a, if a person you don't like who's criticizing you online has a kid you're gonna go after that child because that's that's how sick you are so stop coming here no i'm going after their parenting not the child itself no bitch no we're not playing that game Daughter being a prostitute when they brought it online, that's not attacking her. All right, so get it right and don't get it twisted because that's what you do a lot. And what's really crazy is she, I've noticed Booty Beauty been doing this a lot too. What are you watching everything I'm doing or what? She'll go into a chat and she says, Guys, I've been striking all these disgusting yeah, people. Yeah, here we go. Here I've, we been go. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been striking all of them mm -hmm. every day. That's mm -hmm. what she said. Those are just words to me. Now, me personally, I don't think she should strike anybody. I don't, I don't really believe in striking because I don't strike anybody and oh, you know, gosh. let the reaction channel. Sam or him, they watch me way more than I watch them. So maybe, have you noticed that maybe they should watch me less? Maybe they're using my vocabulary? I don't know. I want you to do something for me. Booty All right, beauty. sure. You because you've been going to everybody's chat. Mm -hmm. You've been saying the same thing over and over again. I want you to prove it to me. Mm -hmm. You say that I strike down these disgusting channels every... You know, one thing about being like a, a very small creator is that I'm not known by the people that I talk about. Because <laughs> I bet you I'd get... I mean, I my channel would probably... 
if Chantel, if I were to come on Chantel's radar, like my channel would probably get yeeted. Like seriously, because she would strike it. You know, every video that I make about her, and eventually, I think my channel would get yeeted. Of course, you know, I can definitely like you know, f you know, fight the strikes, but it's just like, you know, you know how YouTube is. They, they, the small. They don't care about the small creators. They only call about care about the bigger ones. Every single day, mm -hmm. and YouTube's not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, we're tired of the words. We want to see this. Next time you go live, next time you go live, you always proving something to somebody. Next time you go live, show us this. You see this? This is my channel right here. When I say I never strike, I don't strike a channel. I never strike channels. Okay. I keep it real. When I say I never strike channels, I keep it real. You keep it real Show us there. your removal request. Okay. Huh? Coming up. Okay, so I have no idea. Like, I tried to do the browser source, but it wasn't giving me the... I, oh, by the way, I blocked Scissor Sister because you obviously support the haters, so goodbye. I didn't say which time I was going to show receipts, so yeah, be patient and just get out of here. So this is basically... Um, just a screen. I had a screenshot on my laptop because I'd have Salah help me. Because when I so what I'll do next time I go live, if that's not good enough for you guys. Oh if you my think... God, she's going. I don't know who Doe I Cookie is. Oh, obviously French fried girl. French fried. She's going. <laughs> So she's pretty much striking every French fry girl video. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm so glad that I'm not known to to Chantel. I one day that may not be the case. One day she'll maybe she'll finally you know catch me out. <laughs> Your doctor, whatever my picture's in the right corner. It's impossible to doctor, but I'm gonna go on the other phone and I'm gonna show you guys the emails that I reported these people and reported them personally. And they all they tell me is I understand that is they even say verbatim yes this is showing hate so that proves that YouTube acknowledges my complaint that these channels do show hate okay that acknowledges that and they still just say at the end well we're just gonna leave it all you can do is report it and wait that's all they say so this is just a screenshot of many there's so many so next time I'll use my other phone just like I did to show the Kibla direction and I will also by the way on the app show you that it's set to Kuwait okay so you can just get a life on that and I don't care if you think it's wrong for me to report these people for hate hatred and bullying when you yourself yo mama just said there's no way if you're reporting they would take it down because it's against terms of service okay bitch show us the email show us the email to talk about one person and target one person. So if you're acknowledging that it is a violation, then why don't I have the right to report it? Just so you can keep getting views on reacting. Oh, okay. To these morons, sorry. And I'm not gonna silence myself, okay? I'm not gonna silence myself. Of course she doesn't show the email. If I have something to say and I wanna say it, I'll say it, that's it. Hello, I see she's doing a good job with maybe keep your lips closed. I don't record anyone, I just ignore and don't watch them anymore. Well, like, unless you guys are in my shoes, you don't know what you would do. If you were a YouTuber and not just a watcher, because to you, if you're just watching, you don't have any feeling. You don't, you're removed from it. You're not in it, you know? Like, um, do I report some people who are bullying other people? Yeah, for sure I do. But I can understand other people not doing that. I mean, if you want to stay silent and just whatever, keep on with your life, that's on you. But I'm not like that, you know? So if you're saying, oh, YouTube would do something about it, I just proved to you that they don't do anything. And next stream, I'll have more receipts for you. I'll have my emails that I should have prepared for now, but I'm very impulsive. And when I heard that, I was like, I stopped everything I was doing. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I don't even know. I might have left the water running. I'm like, I'm going to go live right now because that's just how I am. <laughs> that's that's my point, though, is that YouTube does nothing about platform hate. They really just let it slide. You know, I don't know if they, they just don't get around to Yeah, that's why you're still here. Like Chantel, you sh the thing is, Chantel, you're a part of the problem. You're a hateful disgusting human being who has doxxed people you've broken plenty of terms of service you're just as much as a of um a person that should be on the chopping block as you know as i see the thing is i don't think these reaction channels are hateful channels well at least the ones that i know of
like at this point, YouTube probably sees you as just a massive Karen, and they're just filing it, and like they don't want to deal with you. You're constantly like reporting every freaking video. It's like, yeah, they're not. When you do that, they're not gonna. They're gonna stop taking you seriously. Backlogs, um, but I can show you my emails. Go back along excuse me, a long time. And I've been, I have been reporting. So for people to say, Goody Beauty doesn't report. She likes this drama. She likes this. Oh, sure. Yeah. I just love it. Like, stop telling me, you people need to stop telling me how I feel about something. You have no idea. You have no idea. Okay. You don't know. The only thing I will say is, yeah, I probably shouldn't even address these things, you know, or I shouldn't do that. But like, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not perfect. I am a very reactive person. And I think me reacting once in a while, I mean, I take this. So this is why you shouldn't watch reaction channels. You should just do your you know, your videos, okay, log off and find something else to do. Oh, wait, you can't because you don't have a life. You're literally a, a hold up in your fucking fart box in the sky with a f fake husband that doesn't want you, okay, that uh, cheated on you with a beezer who, was, who he was trying to replace you with. You're too disgusting for him to want to shit on. I mean, Sh Chantel, you've eaten yourself to immobility, so you can't really do anything. So all you have to do all day is to go online and, and look up in, about yourself and, and listen to, like, reaction channels. It's, it's pathetic. Get a life, Chantel. Because if you had a real a, a life and you were so busy, you wouldn't have time to, to listen to the reaction channels. Let us shoot the shit and and you know do us and you do you okay Take a lot of crap online probably more than anyone like seriously why seriously, are you there's... complaining so much and trying to get get people no reaction channels dip, put you know put down basically when we're the ones that are driving traffic to your channel but especially big names like a uh, french fry girl and youtube underground you get rid of them you know so you know some people are gonna like just leave the community all together i know there are other reaction channels but you know like the big names in the and in, in girl world are yaba uh, you know yaba sam and and french fry girl zachary michael i, well, I don't think he does foodie booty but like you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know no one else on YouTube, like, well, there's, like, maybe a few people, but, like, seriously, especially over dumb, petty things, you know? Oh, YouTube. But your hand that feeds you? Yeah, if I had to, I mean, sure. I don't know, there's other platforms, and not just that, I would get a job before kneeling and, and, and kneeling down and accepting something, you know? I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm going to sue YouTube, I'm sure I just don't even have the mental capacity to deal with that. Um, and they have a lot more money. You don't money. have the money. <laughs> you don't have the money, let's be real. <laughs> but it would definitely probably be a case. I'm not saying for sure I'm not a lawyer, but in my eyes, I think that would be, um... I think that would be a case because in my opinion, I've reached out, they've acknowledged that it's hate and they do nothing. Yeah. Everyone handles it differently. And that's why YouTube should be more responsible. Chantel, instead of wasting all your money on food, why don't you fuck hire a lawyer and, and sue YouTube? Seriously. If you have a strong case, pursue it. platform people should be allowed to come on here and come to work and you can say it's not a job while making thousands of dollars you know the reason why she's not she's not doing showing the emails right away right is because she needs time to write them up a month and paying your bills is a job whether you like it or not just because we're not sitting at a desk with a headset okay actually i am sitting with a headset right now anyway so i wanted to prove that i was like you know what yep that's so easy to prove i don't know why people like would think i'm lying about that like why would it like oh yeah i, I do report them like, why, what, what, what proof do you have that I'm lying? So you just make a claim without any proof? Like, please. What now she's going after people who do jobs with headsets. Like, what? Like, pretty much customer service jobs and stuff like that? Like, stop coming after us, Chantel. Happened to, like, in our, in the system where I'm from, it's innocent until proven guilty, buddy. <laughs> I don't owe you anything. I don't even know, like, I didn't have to show that. Yeah. I do have rage for people who are disgusting like this and petty. I can't stand it. My biggest pet peeve, and this is like a stuff for love, forgive me God, but I don't like people who are have the sheep mentality. I can't stand it. Everyone is a hero behind the screen. Yeah, I believe in karma. 
in Arab, it's, we have a concept of karma, but it's called, in, people say there's no karma in Arab, um, um, what is it called? Wait, it's like, it starts with a K also, but I can't remember. Um, damn it, I forget the name. I'll have to find it. Oh, Kifara. Kifara. I don't know. Oh, Kadar. Kadar? I don't know. I have to find it. There is a, there is a word term for it, but it's basically just means like, what goes around comes around. So there is a, like an um, Islam version of karma. Her adult child has nothing to do with what she says. She's the one who brought it up, Michelle. She's the one who brought it up. I wasn't saying, yeah, but your daughter's a prostitute. That's not what I was saying. I was saying using that as an excuse to come after Gigi, the fact that he commented on your daughter being a prostitute when she brought it up. Yeah, it did have something to do with the entire context. It did. I don't know how you can't grasp that. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not surprised most people can't. And the hatred I had for Didi, like, they were mentally abusing me for a long time. And I got really hammered and I said some stuff. I don't remember what I said about her mom, but it's not the same whatsoever. And that was like two years ago. See, nobody has anything current. If anyone has anything current to attack me on, what did I say then, Rai? What did I say? I made fun of her mom and said she's a pickle brain and she can't control herself and blah, blah, blah. What did I say? What? What did I say? I want to know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm distancing myself from all these stupid people. Like, I can't. Oh, my God. You know how many times have you said BS, that? Always. How many times, Chantal, shut up. You're not going to distance yourself. You're not doing this or that. You, because you like the drama just as much as we all do. And you, the thing is, is somebody's going to say something. It's going to piss you off. And you're going to be right in back in it. So just shut up. And you most definitely did say things about Dee Dee's mom. Disgusting things. When you weren't drunk. Negative, negative. And don't bring up Allah's wife because they've done disgusting things to me first and I was lashing out and I was super angry. Super angry. They had no reason to do that. So whatever. And I already apologized for that. Did Sam apologize for anything she said about Gigi's mom? No. No, not so ever. Whatsoever. And I didn't dox, like, first of all, she doxed her mother. So I was saying that you doxed your mother, blah, blah, blah. And then I said the room number. Yeah, that was wrong. Whatever. That was like, how long ago again? How many years ago? I don't know. That's another thing people need to can it on is when I'm going to die. Are you kidding? FFG talking about when I'm going to die? You have stage five emphysema, lady. Worry about yourself. Vim. Calling me a death fat? You're what, maybe 10 pounds later? If that, we haven't seen you in a, in a while. Just because your legs are skinny and, you, you know, like, that doesn't mean anything. All of your weight is in your abdomen. You're just as unhealthy. So please have several seats. Several of them. I'll lend you one of our couches. We have lots. Some of us feel something bad going to happen to you if we keep eating the way you do. Well, Angela, that's up to God also. Like, that's who, nobody knows, you know? Like, you guys can be concerned all you want, but at the end of the day, it's my life and I'm the only one in control of it. So people can be concerned, but it doesn't mean that people's concern is going to... You're barely in control of your life, Chantel. You you barely have your hands on the reins. My God, like, you're th this is her basically like you know what I'm gonna eat what I want. And if I die, I die. That's it. It's up you know. But you're not afraid. You're so narcissistic and such an ego on you. You're not even afraid of what's gonna happen when you meet when you come face to face with Allah. Like, oh my God. Help me in any way, you know. Like, I appreciate concern, but at the, like at the same time. Regarding my weight, no, I don't really. <laughs> like, you know, like, let me just live my life. If that's, you know, it's, it's not going to change anything, people coming at me. If anything, it just makes it worse. It just makes it worse. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with my life, as imperfect as it is. I'm very happy and grateful. I'm not sitting here, like, down in the dumps, like, over, like, you know. Like, yeah, I do get bouts of depression. I have clinical depression. I'm on medication. And, like, Shouldn't it comes you, and goes, you know. Should you be working on losing weight? Because you want to live? Now it's just like, you know, it is what it is. Like, I'm going to live my life and... You know, fuck, fuck everybody for even caring about my, you know, about saving my life. But, like, I accept that my life is a speckled axe. And what gets to me is the people judging are also overweight or going through similar problems. It's so weird. Okay, we've already seen this. But anyways, that was ridiculous. Um, all I can say to that is, I don't know how... I just don't know how she can be so complacent in her own destruction. It just, it's disturbing. It really is. But anyways, that is it for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.